Welcome to our exercise program today. Today I thought you could grab some cans, some soup cans, whatever kind of weights you want, and let's sit in our chair and work on a seated exercise for uh, upper body strengthening all the way down to maybe the waist. So come with me. I'm gonna get the music started while you're grabbing your supplies. Obviously pause it though if you need, right? So sitting in our chair, let's keep our cans beside us for a second. We don't want them dropping on our toes. Let's set ourselves up for a strong foundation. Belly into spine at all times. We want a little bit of a natural arch in our spine, but generally what I notice is people sit back here where they're almost sitting on their tailbone, their backs rounded, which pushes their head forward, shoulders are rounded. So if you can't achieve that, sit on a phone book or you exit a phone book. We nobody has phone books anymore, huh? Uh, just sit on a pillow or some textbooks or whatever from family members. Whatever it takes just to raise your hips up a little bit so you can have just a regular curve in your back. Let's bring our feet underneath our knees and we're going to make sure our knees are hips width distance. So we don't want them in here at all. So we've got the tight. Now, if you find that you're kind of being lazy and you're letting everything just kind of flow, lift, use your pelvic floor muscles and lift your insides up and in. So we're gonna call it elevator muscles. I have my kids wandering around. They never watch the video, but they hear me. So we're gonna just do an elevator. I don't want them already freaked out about me or worried that they're, they're gonna think I'm just getting old. So belly into spine, oops, I'm up on shoulders. Shoulders, elevate them up to your ears, around and down and hold them there. Hinging at the hips only, we're keeping all this. Let's come down and reach our hands and come back up. So let's start with some gentle uh, arm movements. Shoulders are down and away from your ears. Let's kind of build up a little bit of strength, a little bit of warmth in our shoulder muscles. Why uh, the goal is, as your arms are being moved by the cans, by your weights, whatever you have, that you're not rocking your back. So belly and the spine, make yourself really stable. Whatever happens in your arms should not affect. So we're going to hold here for a little. You starting to feel a burn? Let's change it. Let's change in four, three, two, one. Can I talk about your neck? Pull your chin level with the ground. Straight back, horizontal to the ground, and let's kind of punch. So for safety of the shoulders, we are reaching forward below shoulder height. That's the secret. We're kind of pretending that we're tall and we're reaching across a low uh, dining room table, kitchen table. I'm allowing a little movement in my stomach muscles. Watch your stomach though, make sure that your belly is into your spine. The goal also is to keep your elbows bent, but to not go so far that you can't keep your shoulder blades pinned down. Whew, I think we need to stop that, huh? Let's stop in four, three, two, one. Shoulders take a beating. They're not meant to do a ton, and then we expect them to do so much. Staying where we are now, sit up nice and tall. Allow your hands to come out be beside your legs. Palms facing the TV, and let's take it up and back. Up and straighten. Do not um, overstretch your elbows though. Keep them at a bend at the end, just a slight bend. Watch your chin, watch your shoulders. Don't let them creep forward on you. Keep it there. We got this. We're gonna change it soon though. Let's change in four, three, two, 
one. Incidentally, my ladies that carry purses, did you feel how tired your shoulder just got? How much work? My ladies who asked me to, or I'll pick up the purse from the ground, they're 50 pounds. Don't do that. Keeping our elbows now close to our sides. So we want them hinged their 90 degree angle. Let's open our wrists and back. So bring your hands together, flip your palms up to the sky and then rotate your, your hands farther away, but keep your elbows close to your waist. Hands together, palms now go on up and then out as far as you can. Belly into spine. Chin is tucked nicely. Breathing is good, yeah. Maybe smiling that for yourself that you're doing something good for yourself. Think about opening your chest. We're gonna change soon. It shows how uh, shoulder muscles are not really meant to do a lot of weight bearing. Let's change it in four, three, two, and one. Woo! Woo, I say. Keeping our elbows, where do we want to put our elbows? Keep our elbows close to our waist, and then let's rotate up and back down. So, why I have us doing this is if your elbows go above your shoulder height, that's how you get shoulder injuries e easily. As a physical therapist, we gotta get a lot of patients that come in because they're on those weight machines and their elbows are way up by their ears as so they've got a lot of weight going. We don't want that. Our goal in this one is we're trying to get our elbows out to the side, so we're kind of scarecrow style at the end. That kind of idea. But I want us to attach the weight a little bit. So we kind of are thinking the hands stay low. Keep your shoulders tucked and behind you. Chins tucked, elevators lifted, belly into spine. You fill in a little bit here, top of your, makes those pretty uh, cap sleeves. Really pretty looking. We're gonna change though in four, three, two, in one. Okay, let's shake it out, rest a little. We could just wiggle around. Let's work on the back of our shoulder muscle now. So I'm gonna come toward the side here so you could see what we're doing. And then you don't have to, just don't hit the back of your chair. Um, I'm keeping my elbow hinged and now I wanna bring it straight behind me and back down, all the way down. So I'm kind of pretending like in a way that I'm doing a running move. You know how when we run, we run in front. It's like I'm, I'm running backwards. But let me show you. So all the way back and forward. Does that help? So do your own thing. This shows that I have a messed up shoulders in bad posture. That's why I was trying not to do it face on. I'm gonna show you on this way. So keep your elbows close to your sides the best that you can as you pass through and then go straight back and down. Um, if you're feeling a pinching in here, don't go that far, right? We don't wanna pinch. Keep your chin tucked in. Nice. Let's stay in that same position though, with our elbows tucked by our sides. Belly to spine. Now hinge yourself forward. Maybe we want to do one arm at a time. One arm at a time. Hinge yourself forward, keeping support though for your back. Elbow is bent. Straighten your elbow and back down. I'm gonna look uh, forward for myself so I don't hurt my neck. Tuck your chin in, 
and think bend and straighten only with the elbow no movement upper you should feel this in the back of your arm hopefully remember tuck your your shoulder away from your ear though the slower you go that bringing it the weight back in front of you the more it strengthens your shoulder muscles and the back of the arm muscle let's change to the other side of the four three two and one <clears throat> Ready? At the other arm, bring your elbow close to your side body. Glue it there. Belly and the spine, lift your elevator, tuck your shoulder away from your ear and down your back. Hinge forward at the hip only, and then straighten, and then slowly bend your elbow again. And again, I'm gonna leap forward so I don't hurt my, my neck. Tuck your chin in. How are you doing? I wished in this case I was counting. Let's change it in. Four, three, two, and one. Let's change again. Okay, a lot of people have arthritis or just pain right below on the wrist but right below where the thumb connects to the wrist a lot of times it's because you're starting to get like you're holding something heavy and it starts to drop in this area so what i want us to do is let's practice lifting our thumb closer to our forearm so i'm turning my arms this way just so you could see what i'm doing um for you keep them in front of you i don't Feel like you're seeing any differently actually for me this is probably a better location because then i could pin my shoulder blades together the angel wings triangles in the back closer together keep my shoulders away so we're really reinforcing thumb up and just straight don't go down like us i was saying that starts to hurt people so we just want to go from like a tabletop and then lift only your wrist up. We're going to change it in four, three, two, one. Oh, my hands are exhausted. My body's already feeling it. Let's keep our weights down low. Sit up nice and tall now. Let's get some shoulder shrugs in. Belly into spine, lift your elevator. Let's get our shoulders up to our ears. And then push them down and then push even further down. Back up and down and then even further down. Up, down, further down. Up, down, now hands further, further, further down. Up, down, further down. Up, do you see what I'm saying? There's that extra reach last one let's go up around your back and down now up around i never go forward because i feel like our whole life is our body is leaning forward kind of twisting into a forward motion um i have super rounded shoulders i don't know why i would ever try to reproduce that look it's not pretty it's actually embarrassing to me Plus, I have shoulder injury because of it. So, let's change again in four, three, two, one. The, another thing that we, we are getting, especially as we're texting, we're getting the carpal tunnel, we're texting a lot, we're getting numbness and tingling into our fingers. So, take the weights now, lay them onto your um, the front, lay your wrists onto the front of your knee. Belly to spine, elevator parts lifted. You want to hinge at the hips. Shoulders away from ears. Posture is important. Chin is back. Bring your palms down towards your legs. So the back of your hand is facing the screen. And then lift your, just your hands up and down. 
We want you to glue your wrists uh, to your knees. Now, if you don't have the mobility to get into this position to do it, you get the gist. So sit up tight, nice and tall and do it. We're not gonna stay here long, but are you feeling it? Let's change in four, three, two, and one. Belly into spine, elevator parts are lifted, shoulders back, let's lean back enough that we still have control of our posture, but we're feeling a little engagement here. Let's bring our hands toward our chest height, and let's let gravity lift. We're gonna lift our hands straight out and back in. Think about your, your chest muscles working. Belly into spine. Remember, only do this if you're supportive of your back. If you would like to do this and you don't have the ability, you can cram pillows behind your back in your chair. It's your workout, it doesn't matter. Do be sensible, do it the correct way. Avoid injuries. Last four, three, two, one, and back down. My thought always is if you're going to do a workout, you might as well get it all done, right? That's how we can incorporate some stomach. Okay, take one can only. If you want to take two, you can. <laughs> it's your workout. Um, I just don't want to drop one on my hand, my feet. So I'm holding the, my one can in both my hands. I want to go back and forth, so I'm side to side, belly into spine. Now the goal with the can though is adding a little bit of weight and resistance as I start to hinge back at my hips and then I come forward again. How far, well, the option is, do you want to add more of a twist? Do you want to stay static and stay straight and come up and down with me? It's like, again, it's your workout, right? Try them all. Maybe you'll find something that works better for you. This is the last thing we're gonna do though. And then we'll just do a quick breath so make the most of it, right? Let's change, let's stop. Let's stay stop. In five times more that we're up. So it's five, four, three, Two, last time going down, and place your can down. My yogi instruction would say, thank your cans for helping. Let's start, let's finish with belly and the spine, elevator parts lifted, shoulders away from ears, down or back. Just take a moment, you, we have stretching videos. You can just roll it out. I just wanna say thank you. I'm gonna leave the stretching to you, but I just wanna thank you a whole lot for giving me time to work with you, to help you hopefully. Continue to send in requests, recommendations, uh, suggestions, everything. I really appreciate it. You've given me back a life of excitement as a physical therapist and personal trainer yoga, blah, blah, blah. Um, I, I didn't remember how much I loved my job. So from my open heart to yours, namaste.